Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO Scale 53 foot CIMC refrigerated container from Scale Trains. This container is part of the Scale Trains operator line. My example is decorated for JB Hunt Intermodal. Scale Trains also offers these containers in a variety of other paint schemes. These containers would look good in any modern era stack train. This container is equipped with sound and has an MSRP of $29.99. They are also available in a three-pack without sound for $35.99. The paint on the container is thin and opaque and shows off the excellent rivet detail. The markings are crisp and all of the small writing is legible with magnification. I don't see any voids in the markings on the sides. The door end has freestanding vertical rods and separately applied latches. I really like the black paint around the edges of the doors that makes them look like separate parts. It's a really good illusion. There are a couple of very small voids in the JB Hunt logo across the door seam, but they're barely noticeable. The detail on the other end is very good. The refrigeration unit is well done and makes this container stand out from other plain containers. The top of the container has holes to accept mounting pins from other containers. I tested them and the Scale Trains container will mate with containers from Kato, Walthers, and Athern. I didn't test any other brands. I tested this container in a Kato 53-foot well car and it worked fine. The sound system requires a 9-volt battery, which is not included. The bottom of the container can be removed to access the interior. So I found it's easiest to use some kind of a tool to pry it open with using these holes. And then the battery just clips in. There were no instructions provided as to how to use the sound unit with the container, and I couldn't find any on the Scale Trains website either. However, I figured it out, and the switch turns the sound on and off. The button can then be used to cycle through different volume levels. This circuit board which holds the switches is very flimsily mounted. And I actually broke one of the screws off just by trying to press the volume button. So I think scale trains could have made that a little better. I did not do a test to see how long the battery will last if the sound is left on. The container weighs two ounces by itself. With the battery, the weight is 3.6 ounces. With that much weight, I'd be a little wary of stacking this container on top of another in a well car as it might be top heavy. I have not had the chance to test that in actual operation and layout, but it's something to think about. Overall, I think Scale Trains has done a good job with this container. I'm sure modern era modelers will want a few of these, with or without sound. I am bothered by the flimsy circuit board, however. I was being gentle with it and it still broke, so I'm going to take a spike for that. My final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes. The button can then be used to cycle through volume levels.